What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Feed the Beast Infinity Evolved Expert Mode. Oh, yeah, guys. Whoa. That's new. I don't think I've seen that before. My armor, my jetpack, is like going invisible around my arms when I do that. Huh. Anyway, uh, so yeah, we are back here over at spawn. <laughs> this is the place where I have mined all of my resources. We're on the diamond level. So the mini map says Y10 under the right hand side. Uh, yeah, I was in the process of getting everything ready to go to make our quarry because I'm tired of mining by hand, <laughs> but we are out of redstone. I knew we were running low and yeah, it finally happened. So now we are back here at spawn and I'm going to be doing like I've done for a long, long time. I'm going to be digging out all these resources here. And we're going to be looking for redstone. That is the next order of business that we need to do. Uh, if we come across diamonds, that would be awesome as well. Uh, we are kind of low on emeralds. I don't know if we're going to need more than what we have right now. We have to make some emerald chipsets. There's some redstone. Awesome. Yeah, we do have to make emerald chipsets. Or, yeah, emerald chipset and then emerald electron tubes. So right there, that is six emeralds. So we haven't been in a biome or whatever that has emeralds. I've only found them in the nether. And I think from killing the silverfish, what's up slime, get out of here. Uh, yeah, anyway, so I'm going to be here for a little while. I need to do a lot of digging, <laughs> a lot of resource collecting. Uh, we're looking for the redstone, like I said, and I guess any other resources that we can collect out here will be good. So, yeah, I'm going to be spending a few moments collecting all the things, and we'll be back. All right, cool. So I spent a few minutes there mining and we got a decent amount of resources here, almost two stacks of redstone ore, which is pretty awesome because that's exactly what I was looking for. Uh, we did get 14 diamond ore. We got some of the uranium, lots of iron, which is cool. Some silver. Yeah, lots of good stuff here. A few of the uh, the dense redstone ores. Uh, so I'm going to take the redstone ore and we are going to put that through the pulverizer because uh, when you pulverize it, uh, you get the chance for getting the cinnabar and yeah, that's definitely what we are looking for is to get cinnabar so we can take ferris uh, We got nine ferris ore uh, You can smelt that with the cinnabar and the induction smelter and you can get yourself a shiny I've gone through all the different shiny that we have and I've turned that all into enderium now We seem to be running out since I'm making tesseracts and a whole lot of other stuff like that recently uh, I'm going to go and put away some of this other stuff that we are not going to be using. Uh, but yeah, I found one draconium ore, which is pretty rare to find in the overworld. But yep, I did find one of those, which is awesome. Uh, so let's see. Anything else in here? I guess I don't need that or that or the coal or this. Yep, cool. All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and process these ores, get them all done, try and get all the redstone that we need. And we will continue working on uh, our quarry project. Also, I was thinking I might subdivide our area here instead of having like this big kind of a U shape, I guess. Um, yeah, maybe putting like pillars along the ceiling like this and kind of make it feel like uh, there's different rooms. I don't know if I'm going to like wall it off or anything, but I wanted to have like some kind of separation here. I also want to do something with the walls and the ceiling. I haven't gotten around to that just yet. But I think this was going to be the first step. Just put up like these little divides. I don't know if we're going to do them. Uh, I don't have blocks along here because that would run right into our storage drawers. But anyway, yeah, it's just something I was kind of playing with and seeing if I liked it or not. But yeah, uh, I'm going to go ahead and continue processing this ore and we'll be back, guys. All right, guys. So I went ahead and I processed all of our ores and I've been doing a lot of crafting over here. Like I had to reset up our turning table. Uh, I've used the lasers a lot. Yeah, we got a lot of stuff done and I think we are finally, finally, finally ready to get this quarry going. But before we do, we have to do a bit more crafting. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we have to make an MFSU. Uh, I've already got everything set up for this laser drill precharger. I am pretty sure. Yeah, um, pink slime crystal. We got the pink slimes last episode, right? So nine of those into that makes the pink slime block and we just smelt that into the pink slime crystal and we can get that laser precharger. I got the recipe around here somewhere. Oh yeah, I didn't smelt this yet. Let's go smelt that together then. Uh, do, I don't think I have a furnace over here. No, I got the alloy smelter. Uh, we need to go furnace only. There we go. Pink slime crystal. Got it. Okay, so we can put this guy right here, and there we go. There is a laser drill pre-charger, and that goes right here. <laughs> uh, okay, so let us move on. Okay, so this one, we have to make an electric motor to put over here into the power unit. And then the power unit, we can stick right here to make the mining drill. And then the mining drill, 
meet the dentist, achievement get. The mining drill goes here to make our mining well. Aha. Cool. So we got another part done. I believe that one goes here. Uh, all right. So we need I'm trying to remember where I put all my things. Yeah. We need these in, <laughs> in energy dust. I think that's how you say that. Uh, yeah, we compress nine of these and this will give us the red crystal. So we have to make six of these. For uh, the Lapatron crystals. And then I think we need four more for something else. Maybe it was this MFE right here. All right. So anyway, we got to take all of these guys. Let's go ahead and put them into a stack over to our compressor. And we will compressify them. That needs one more. Oh, and it looks like I'm going to have to babysit this <laughs> because they don't stack. Okay. So we need to get a few more out of this. I guess if I hold shift and just click, that'll probably make this go a little bit faster. Yep. Cool. All right. So we'll get all these. We'll get our Lapatron crystals done. Then we should be able to make our MFE that we need. And then I can't remember what else is needing those, but we got a bunch of other recipes over here that does need them. So we'll do this. Okay. So there's an MFE storage upgrade achievement get. Cool. So then we can make our Lapatron crystals. Can I put those in here? Is that going to work? It seems like this inventory is kind of laggy when I use IC2 stuff. Uh, did that go in there? No. All right. Well, anyway, I'll just do this manually. <laughs> uh, okay. We'll get this one and finally that one. All right. Yeah. Making all of those advanced circuits is such a pain. Uh, so I think... The MFSU that we are currently creating. Oh, you know what? That MFE. Yeah, I put that on the wrong screen. Oh, no, it's still in my inventory. Yeah, the MFE goes here along with the advanced machine casing and this advanced circuit. And we got to put these guys over here. And this should make our MFSU. Got it? Just too much. Achievement get. All right. So where are we at? This guy goes here, if I remember. Uh, we also needed another one of those Lapatrons. All right. Wait, what was it that goes there? Let's double check. Yeah, an energy crystal. I thought I made enough. I feel like we just lost one somehow. Did I not have enough there? <laughs> Maybe I didn't. Okay, so uh, to make that stuff, we need four diamonds. Let's go ahead and do this. Four diamonds. And then we also need five redstone. Okay, so the diamonds we have to take and we have to uh, macerate. Yeah, I'm not too worried. If we do lose those, I'm not sure if I might have miscounted. I mean, <laughs> that's definitely a possibility. Uh, but I'm not too worried about this because we're going to have our quarry going here pretty quick. And when our quarry's up and running, diamonds won't be a problem anymore. None of our resources will, will really. Uh, all right, so we'll come over here back to the compressor and we will make one more of those guys. Cool. And is it this one? No, this one. <laughs> one of these. Can I put that right there? Okay, so mining laser, laser time. Why did I get the achievement just now? Didn't we make one of these previously? I felt like we did. All right, anyway, moving on. Oh, you know what? I had a question, guys. Somebody asked me, if the ender quarry is so expensive, why don't I make the regular one? Because if we go to the regular recipe, it's like the same thing. The difference is it's using a diamond chipset and a diamond electron tube. Whereas the ender quarry is using an emerald electron tube and an emerald chipset. So it's like the same recipe, pretty much. Uh, that emerald chipset, let's put on hover. I think I left it over here. I did craft that up a little while ago. And a bunch more of these redstone ones. We're going through all of those, making those, um, <clears throat> what are these things? The capacitors? Yeah. Okay, so back to this one. We can put the emerald chipset there. We're down to one piece, guys. We're almost there. We are almost there. We need the tesseract. I think I already got this pre-made to the point. Yeah, there's our teleporter. Interdimensional warp. Yeah, I'm getting achievements now. I must have done something that unlocked all these different achievements. There's a Tesseract frame. Cool. So now we need four <laughs> Ender Pearls. Yep, we'll go fill that guy up. Uh, we need to go over here and melt them down. So you go here, you go here. Oh, no. We have Energized Glowstone. How do I get rid of you? Um, let's do 
Yeah, I had to do the energized glowstone. What was they filling up? It was some kind of a glowstone illuminator. Maybe it was for... It was one of these things. Maybe it was the laser drill. Yeah, I had to do this glowstone illuminator. And I just put in a block of glowstone. I guess that was too much. Um, well, hold on a second. If that's too much, maybe a second one will be enough then. Can I do that? Oh, yeah. Okay, so that's one way to get rid of it. <laughs> All right, pretty simple. There we go. And now we get... Uh, our Tesseract frame that's going to be filled, and I think that's the last piece. Yeah, we don't have to make a full Tesseract. It's just the frame. So once this thing finishes, for some reason, this <laughs> goes a little bit slower. Uh, yeah, once this finishes, we should have our quarry, and that is really, really awesome. That is, like, the biggest step so far in this mod pack as far as automation goes. All right, there we go, guys. Here it is. Ender quarry. Got it. Let's set it down and take a look at it. It's so pretty. <laughs> okay, so we have our ender quarry. Uh, we want to do an upgrade for this. We are going to want to put the silk touch upgrade on there, which is going to do a power drain multiplier of 1.5. Uh, so that in order to get the silk touch, we need to get the ender quarry upgrade base, which is burnt quartz and some ender infused obsidian in the QED. That's not a big deal. Uh, and then we also need to get a golden pickaxe with silk touch one. Okay, so how do we get silk touch one? Is there an easy... Is there... No, it doesn't look like there's a book or anything we can craft. Um, i trying to think if there's an easy way to do this. So we have the vanilla enchantment table. So there's an enchanter... From Ender IO, I do believe, or is it? Yeah, this thing right here. No recipe. This has been disabled. Uh, there's a disenchanter. There's the auto enchanter. Do we make one of those? No, we made the auto disenchanter. Maybe it's time we make the auto enchanter and just put a whole bunch of books through. That could be a thing that we could do and hope to get it. Another thing we could do is just you know make a whole bunch of books and do it the vanilla style way. Huh. All right. Well, I'm going to think about that for a moment. See how we can get Silk Touch on a golden pickaxe. And we'll be right back, guys. Cool. So I just went back to spawn. And I went and I collected a whole lot of sugar cane that we have planted around the shore there. I still haven't set up any of the agricraft crops to um, any of the sugar cane in here. I don't even know if we have sugar cane seeds or how to do that. We might. I don't know. But I haven't gotten the 10, 10, 10s of those yet. So we don't have any crops growing for sugarcane. But yeah, I had to do that so we could make a bunch of these books. So you can make the books using paper and then these blank patterns. So I probably used like three or four stacks of wood uh, making all of these. But we have that tree form, so that's no big deal. I also had to go and grab some cotton from spawn so we can make these strings. So I grabbed like eight stacks of cotton. I uh, only used three for a stack of that so we could get a stack of these books. But yeah, this is where we're at. So I made the auto enchanter. And I think what we're going to do is we are going to auto enchant a lot of stuff here. So let's go ahead and try and get this thing set up. Uh, so auto enchanter, we're gonna need a tesseract. So let's get this uh, for power. You can go right here. Uh, we are going to pull out of that using an impulse item duct and that's gonna go into a filing cabinet like so. The filing cabinet can store a whole lot of the same type with different data on it. So like different enchanted books for instance could all go in here or armor that's enchanted or unenchanted, even though there's different enchants on it can all go in here. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, so we're gonna be doing a whole lot of books. This is gonna be auto enchanting the books at level 30, and it should be pulling out and into there. So we can go ahead and put a servo on this guy, and we will set this to ignored. So it's always trying to pull out, and then we can do a hardened fluid duct right there with our drum of essence. We can also take this guy and set that right like that and ignore it. So I'll be pumping the essence into this thing, filling the tank. We got energy. It's doing work. And yeah, so it's going to take a little bit of time for each one of these enchants. So I'm going to wait around and hopefully it won't take too long to get the silk touch. I'm actually going to, you know, take a break <laughs> from the game and let this thing run for probably 30 minutes or an hour. And we'll be back, guys. Well, I said I was only going to wait like 30 minutes or an hour, but it's turned out to be an hour and a half. <laughs> I know because I was watching a show on Netflix that was like 45 minutes long and it wasn't, we didn't get a Silk Touch book by then. Uh, so I watched another episode and came back and here we go. We got a Silk Touch one. We got a lot of different other books here that were enchanted. 
So we got some protection books and I don't know, we got a whole bunch of other things to repair two books, which is pretty cool. Some respiration. Uh, is there anything else that's kind of interesting? Implosion. Don't know what those are. These are kind of specialty enchantments, I think. Aqua Affinity, we know it is. I don't know what K is. Destruction, that sounds pretty awesome. <laughs> uh, yeah, Feather Falling. Okay, anyway, anyway. Uh, so we got our Silk Touch book. Let's go ahead. We'll take that. We need to make ourselves a golden pickaxe because that is what is required for this recipe. Uh, so we need gold and some sticks. Oh, we don't have any sticks. Uh, wood. Plank. Plank. All right, so we'll make some sticks real quick. Put those back. Put these here. There we go. Uh, we're going to need our anvil. Awesome. Cool. So there's the anvil. There's that. There's our silk touch. Oh, you know what? I don't have <laughs> experience on me. Dang it. Yep. Um, I set up a thing over here with our liquid XP drum and the, uh, the XP shower to go into our sewer, back into our essence drum. We went through a full one of these and it looks like we're about to go through the second one right now. And yeah, we've gone through that many books. We have 18 left of that stack. Okay, okay, so I need to get some experience, so how do I do this? I need to fill up one of those tanks again. I know you guys keep telling me I should do the Ender IO Obelisk, uh, but I don't have that set up just yet. So let us do uh, a flu, no, a uh, transfer node. One of these guys into a tank, like we did previously. Yep, there we go. So I just need to get six levels. This should be pretty quick. Uh, just stick the tank right there and this guy right like so and I just right click Three four five six cool. All right. We'll just let that fill up. That's fine All right, so golden pickaxe plus our silk touch book. So there's a silk touch uh, pickaxe. Let's just double check That I'm doing this right so it is in fact a golden pickaxe with silk touch one. Yep. Cool. All right, so let's do this. Then what else do we need? We need two pieces of redstone, ender quarry beast upgrade, which I have already made. And let's grab those redstone. So there's that and that. One of these, some of that. Wait, <laughs> what did they mess up? No, oh, it should be like this. Ah, okay. So there we go. Uh, ender quarry silk touch upgrade. So that's going to be a power drain multiplier of 1.5 times. All right, so we also need... That was weird. <laughs> we also need the ender markers. I got those cooked up over here. It's just two of the, oh man, I can't remember what it is. Ender infused obsidian and the ender pearl is what it is per one of these. Okay, so we now have our ender quarry and we have the silk touch upgrade and we have the ender markers. Uh, we do have a tesseract, which I'm going to yoink from right there. We don't need this enchanting anymore. Looks like it just did another one. Do we get another silk touch? No, we didn't, okay. Uh, all right, so we got all this stuff set up. Uh, we need to find a spot where we're going to start quarrying at. And we don't have like a quarry dimension set up. So we're going to do this in the overworld somewhere. So I need to figure out where I want to do this. Probably in a desert, maybe. Uh, we got to figure out where we're going to put all of the stuff that this thing quarries up. So um, I really don't think we're set up at this point in time to just accept all of the items from a quarry. I'd be afraid of us running out of space. Unless we do something about like the stone that we're getting and the dirt and well, I don't think we get dirt out of this thing actually. Uh, so let's see, you know what we should look at? We should look at getting uh, deep storage units. These guys right here. So those require resonant energy cell frame, which is hardened glass, some enderium and an emerald, which isn't too bad. And then these reinforced strong boxes, which is hardened glass around a hard and strong box, which is invar around a strong box, which is tin around a chest. That's actually not too difficult. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and craft up a recipe's worth of these. I do believe we should have everything. How are we doing emeralds? We got one left. <laughs> okay, so we got one emerald, so we can do this recipe. Otherwise, we'd have to do it this other way, which I'm not sure. Favorite crystal, emerald electron tube. Yeah, I don't know. I think we're going to do this recipe right here. I'm going to make some of these deep storage units and we'll be back guys. Okay. Well, this is interesting. There is a blue slime here in my pond and these guys, as far as I know, only spawn on the slime islands. So I was just looking at the map. 
where we are right here at our new base. The closest one is over here. So did that guy like really hop all the way over here until he got into the water? I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, that Yeah, that's got me baffled. I don't know where this guy even came from. But yeah, that's definitely a blue slime. Just hanging out. Just saying hi. Now you're dead. <laughs> okay, well, we'll collect some slime balls. Yeah, so I was thinking where we wanted to set up the quarry. And I think we are going to go over here to the desert area where we were fighting that wither. Or was it up here? It might be up here. Anyway, we're going to go over to that spot. I'm going to lay out the quarry and we'll be back, guys. All right, guys. Well, I think I got everything laid out the way it should be. I put an ender marker right here, and then I counted... Well, actually, I didn't really count. I just went out a decent distance over this way, and I placed another one. And you can tell they are in line when you place these things down because they emit these little purple particles that show you they are at the right height and in line with its little buddy over here. So we got this one right like this, and then we are going over this way a decent distance. Not super far, but to right here. And when I was over here placing this marker, you can see, yeah, the purple, it is recognized. When I was over here placing this marker, I heard a couple of spiders. And I was like, what the heck? So I dug down. And yeah, sure enough, there is a spider spawner right here. And we got music discs, some tin copper, ender pearls, and yeah. Anyway, uh, nothing like super crazy good. I'm still hoping we'll find a portal gun <laughs> one of these days. But it hasn't happened yet. Yeah, we're over here by that desert village. This is the one that had the the meteor or whatever land on its wall. Yeah, we're kind of over here digging out this area. But yeah, the ender quarry is going to turn this area to dirt. So yeah, we're going to have a little dirt patch area in the desert, but it's all fine. It's better that it's over here than over by my base, right? <laughs> Eventually, we'll have like RF tools, dimensions, or whatever that we can quarry in, and we won't have to worry about ruining the overworld. But for now, this is going to be fine. So I laid out a Tesseract here. Let me stop hovering. Uh, the Tesseract is just sending energy, receiving energy. And then I put the Silk Touch upgrade over here. Ender Quarry is going to go right here, touching the marker, this and that, and this chest. So the Ender Quarry should be putting its items into whatever the connected inventory is, being this chest. Then we have a Resonant Servo here, which is going to be pulling out of this chest. The chest is just a buffer. Uh, we'll be pulling out of this chest and then going into these deep storage units that we set up and then I got three diamond chests over here uh, So we should got it. We should have a decent amount of storage uh, The first deep storage unit I have here is just stone then I put in some sand and Some sandstone so those are the only things that I can enter these three first ones I'm not sure what we're gonna do with this one. Maybe gravel. I don't know maybe marble or <laughs> whatever yeah if we get more stuff that we need to put into a deep store that's what we're gonna do and if we're getting a whole bunch of stuff that's just getting crazy uh, i did bring a trash can and a reinforced retriever that we can pull out of the pipe network it'll see the items in this chest and we can you know just ditch those like too much limestone or i don't know whatever dirt um okay so that's the way this is set up i think we're good to go i think we're good i think we're just gonna go ahead and put the ender quarry down here and I think we have to right click on it. There it goes. So now we should be receiving items and it looks like we are getting sand. We got something else. Marble. All right, let's stop hovering. Can we see things? Yeah, we can see things going in. I'm gonna have to go ahead and double check over at the base that we aren't drawing too much power. We might be, this might be drawing all of our power because we're not making a whole lot of the stuff, but we are making a decent amount. Uh, yeah, we're collecting stone at a nice rate. Sand doesn't look like it's doing too much. Sandstone. Maybe we're not collecting sand and sandstone. I don't know. I don't even know where this thing has started. But yeah, we got limestone and gravel and marble so far. So I'm definitely going to have to keep an eye on those things and make sure we're not going to fill up on those resources that we don't want. We're pretty much looking for ores. Oh, you know what? It started right here, isn't it? Cool. All right. Well, yeah, I think that might be the first time I've ever set down one of these things and it started right where I set it down because normally it's like in one of the other three corners. Cool. All right, well, I'm going to let this go for a while. In fact, guys, I think we're going to go and wrap the episode up here. I'm out of recording time for today. <laughs> I spent so much time trying to get this silly quarry going, and we are finally there. Ah, feels good. It definitely feels good. Um, it almost feels like we've beaten the pack, but this is just the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, that's going to do it for today. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to leave a like on this episode if you did like it. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.